The Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus gave Bemidji residents a sneak peek performance of their upcoming concert this weekend. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath gives us an inside look at how this chorus uses their music to send a message. Let's get loud. It's Let's sassy get loud. with a hint of salsa. Let's get loud. 70 plus men wearing neon colors of the rainbow singing Latin beats from Ricky Martin to Santana to the more classic rhythms of Latin America. All gay, all out, and all proud. They're the Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus, and they're sending a powerful message through music. We are changing lives in Minnesota by the music that we make. I came out as a fetus. Artistic director Dr. Stan Hill says he's always been out, but when he found the gay chorus, it was a coming out of a different kind. When you're the director of a gay men's chorus, you can't hide behind it. You're automatically part of a gay community. Many of the men hadn't come out yet until they joined the gay man's chorus and they say that their goal is to reach out to others because in their opinion coming out with music is the best way to do it. Jeff Brand has been in the chorus for 19 years. When he came out in 1989 the gay chorus was the perfect outlet to express himself. There's just nothing like going on stage with a group of uh, 120 men and, and 120 gay men and being out and proud in front of the community. Member since 1988 David Anderson says making change through music is not only fabulously fun, it's effective. People open their hearts to music much more than they open their hearts to picketers. Speaking out about issues like bullying is a big part of the chorus's mission. Dr. Hill recognized a friend in the audience, the uncle of Matthew Shepard, the 21-year-old University of Wyoming student whose murder in 1998 created national and international attention to hate crimes. Taking a siesta from all the salsa, they sang an optimistic melody. It gets better. You can reach out to people who might feel like they're alone. And the chorus ended with a final message of unity, singing their signature song, Walk Hand in Hand. Music is really a wonderful way to carry a message to people's hearts, and, uh, and we touch hearts all the time. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. And the Gay Men's Chorus will be performing April 1st and 2nd in Minneapolis.